What's up everyone, Matt here. Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to do a follow-up video on the Canon RF pancake lens. It was more of a cinematic video and I wanted to do an actual review, show you how to attach it, the settings you need to change in your camera and things like that. Now, these aren't just made for Canon, which is awesome. You can get them for Sony, Leica, Nikon. There's tons of different mounts for them. They're all handmade, which is really cool. So this is what I'm talking about. I have it right here. This is the lens. It's $27, which is unbelievably cheap. And what it is, is it's a lens made out of a classic disposable camera. And they take it out and they build it into the body cap of a mirrorless camera. So what's really cool about this is it just has a very unique nostalgic look to it because you're getting that style of old Kodak cameras. And yeah, I think they're I think they're really cool. They have a aperture of F10, so you will need quite a bit of light or you're going to have to crank that ISO way up. But what's great about it is it's focus free. And what that means is you don't actually control the focus whatsoever. It automatically focuses everything that's about five feet away from you or 1.6 meters away from you, which is similar to a old Kodak camera. You can see here it actually says, you know, the focus is four feet to 14.5 feet or 1.2 meters to 4.5 meters. It's pretty much the same as using one of those old school disposable cameras and that's the look that it gives you. Now, here I have a Canon R mirrorless camera and let's just go ahead and attach it. So we're gonna take off the old body cap, the one that I usually leave on there and put on this new one. And it goes on just in place, just like the other one. And that's it. So realistically, you could you could just leave this on the camera all the time if you wanted to, and you always have a lens no matter what, which is pretty cool if you just want to toss it in your bag and you want to quick, take a quick shot, boom, snap out, take the photo. So let's go adjust a few settings that you have to adjust in order to use this. And it might be similar on Sony and Nikons and things like that, but this is how it works on the Canon. So we're gonna turn this on. We're gonna go to our menu. Make sure we can see. Okay, cool, you can see there. And so I'm on the camera settings on page five. So see if I scroll through these, page five. The most important thing that you have to turn on is this option to release shutter without lens. If that's off, you won't be able to take the picture because the camera doesn't recognize that it's a lens that's attached to it. It thinks it's a body cap. So why would it need to release the shutter? So you have to turn this setting to on. And at that point forward, you can take shots. One thing to note, if you have some custom settings saved on here, like C1, C2, even in video mode, C1, C2, you have to make sure you save this setting inside your custom settings. Otherwise, every time you go back to it, it'll be off. But if you're on manual mode, or automatic mode, you'll see that it's on and you can even record video with it. So I can just hit record here. You can see how dark it is obviously because again, it's a F10, which requires a lot of light. So here's a few photos that I didn't post in the other video, which again is more of like a cinematic video showing the lens and, and things I did with it. So if you haven't seen that, definitely check it out. But here's a few photos just to see what kind of things it can do. I did process these in Lightroom with some of my presets from my disposable camera pack, which you can get in the description below. It's 99 cents, helps grow the channel. So definitely check out that pack. Let's check out some of these photos.
I should also mention that it is a 30 millimeter lens. So personally, I think that's great. I love 24, it's what I'm shooting on now. I also love 35, so it's right in the middle. And another cool thing to note is if you really wanna keep the same style as the disposable camera, those cameras are actually set, their shutters are set to one over 100. So given that you have the control here to you know, set your shutter to one over hundred and make it look like that, or or don't. You can set it way higher, or way lower, uh, but you have control over the ISO, so you can brighten the image if you want to take it in a dark place without a flash, or if you got a flash, you can get that really cool look, just like those old cameras. You can definitely do that. This is just meant to be a follow-up video. If you haven't seen the other one, definitely check it out. Some really cool photos in there that I took on the Santa Monica Pier and all around Southern California. So definitely check that out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Hit me with the like or sub for the algorithm and stay tuned for more videos coming out soon. We out.